And welcome back everyone. Now we're going to turn to the race for attorney general. Latest poll numbers show that 55% of New York voters, they're back in the Democratic incumbent, Eric Schneiderman, and a little over a third throwing their support behind his Republican challenger, John Cahill. Cahill, though, has picked up several endorsements in the race for AG. He's being backed by outlets like Newsday, Cranes, New York Observer, just to name a few. In the meanwhile, Schneiderman got the endorsement from arguably the most important one of all, that the New York Times. Times citing Schneiderman's efforts on holding the Wall Street banks accountable for the financial crisis. Also commending Schneiderman did the Times for requiring gun shows to conduct background checks during gun sales. Times says, quote, overall, Schneiderman has used the broad authorities of his office to advance public safety and to protect consumers and the environment. Now, the Times went on to say that Mr. K, however, has not presented a coherent and compelling agenda for how he would use the office and its more than 650 attorneys. Schneider spoke to RFL about his bid for the re-election as AG, and he also spoke about his opponent, as well as also the race for governor. Mr. Schneiderman, I'm sure you saw Newsday's endorsement of your opponent, John Cahill, claiming, among other things, that you haven't put up enough victories on the scoreboard in terms of accomplishments. How would you respond to that? Well, uh, my office, since I've been attorney general, has been in the lead nationally, and I'm the only attorney general who was appointed by the president to nationally co-chair the working group to investigate the banks that blew up the economy. We recovered over $60 billion so far, over $4 billion for the state of New York. I've recovered more money than any attorney general in history. We have shown dramatic leadership in fighting against wage theft, recovered more than $18 million for 14,000 workers. We have led the way in national innovation on the issue of crime, taken down more than 20 uh, major criminal enterprises, criminal rings, including some of the largest in the history of the state, but gone beyond that. We've created the model system for ending prescription drug abuse in the country, our iStop program, which prevents you from doctor shopping. We, when the police departments had their funds cut off from the federal government, we figured out a way to make sure we reimburse every police department in the state for bulletproof vests. We have a, a record of extraordinary accomplishments, and I do think that uh, uh, the record does speak for itself, and I think the voters are going to hear that. As the top law enforcement official, you've heard the claims about Governor Cuomo's abrupt dismantling of the Moreland Commission. He was turned to Preet Bahara only hours, in fact, before the gubernatorial debate on Wednesday. He called the state government, quote, unquote, a corruption disaster, and he criticized Cuomo's handling of the commission. How would you categorize the allegations that we're hearing? Um, I think, actually, uh, my friend and colleague, Preet Bahara, has not spoken about anything to do with the substance of the investigation. Uh, Anyone who's ever worked in law enforcement knows you don't comment on the subject matter of an ongoing criminal probe. Uh, he has stayed away from the substance. I'm staying away from the substance. If reelected, what new initiatives would you show New Yorkers that they haven't seen in your first four years? Uh, we're going we're gonna to do a lot more to try and bring in and integrate the new corporate models and new technology companies into uh, into New York, make sure that they follow the rules, that they're not evading laws that other companies have to provide, but also growing that sector. We're going to expand our national leadership uh, in fighting against crime, particularly the scourge of heroin abuse. We've just announced recently a, an interstate task force among all the states in the Northeast that I co-chair with the Attorney General of Pennsylvania so that we can have a formal channel to share information about multi-state heroin rings. The rise of heroin is a big problem. We've been proactive in New York State, and I'm proud to be co-chairing the interstate working group on this. I think you're going to see more and more interstate cooperation. You're going to need more leadership from attorneys general at the state level uh, because the problems in Washington are not going to go away right away. And I think that you're going to look for that leadership, and I think you'll find that if I, I remain as attorney general. And the New York attorney general's title is often also referred to as the sheriff of Wall Street. Should New Yorkers have reason to expect that more people with fingerprints on the financial collapse back in 08 would have paid a criminal price? Uh, I think that it's important to understand that there would not be a working group investigating them, but for the leadership that uh, I'm proud to be showing as one of the co-chairs of the task force. None of the settlements we've reached with banks so far, and these are the largest settlements in American history, by the way. We've covered more than $60 billion nationally. None of them release anyone from any ongoing criminal liability. So uh, but there's more to come. Now, Schneiderman and Cahill set to face off in a live televised statewide debate uh, from Hilbert College. That's next Thursday at uh, 7 p.m. And, and, you know, Dom, it's interesting to me because if you look at the predecessors in this job, um, Cuomo himself, 
Elliot Spitzer. Mm -hmm. This has been a launching pad. Um, uh, you know, if you think about it, you get to pick whatever cases you want for the most mm -hmm. part. You can you be do. the sheriff of Wall Street, uh, you know, go after white collar crime. You mm -hmm. can also pick whatever issue you want to go after. I know heroin, for example, abuse statewide. He's mm -hmm. done some stuff with that or other mm -hmm. things you could do, quality of life stuff or, or whatever it is. Um, there are some who've argued that he hasn't measured up to what his predecessors had. Do you think that's a fair criticism? I don't know if that's really fair. Uh, you you got to remember, we're dealing with a governor that's overreaching. Well, the public doesn't realize. Tell them about how this is different than maybe what even Governor Cuomo, um, then Attorney General, ran into. Right. Well, Spitzer and Cuomo are of a different political animal. You're not going to be able to influence them, any outside party, as much as Mr. Cuomo can put the pressure on Mr. Snyderman. Uh, Mr. Snyderman has done a, a relatively good job as Attorney General, General in terms of the headlines and so on, but, but he's in a situation where he has to work with the governor. And Unless he's you're supposed right. to be independent. Preet but Bahara, think about it. He gets more headlines as a U.S. attorney yes. than, the, than the New York Attorney General does. I don't remember that, uh, at least in recent memory. That Except being for the Giuliani. Case. Except for Giuliani, Giuliani. and right. think about that, right? right? So you can do it as long as you're willing to cross the governor. And to this point, it doesn't seem that, you know, Schneiderman and, and as you say, Governor Cuomo doesn't like to share the headlines that he's been willing to go that far. But, but it is a stepping stone to becoming governor mm -hmm. of New York State. And a lot of people thought this may be the only statewide office Republicans had a shot at. The polls seem mm -hmm. to say otherwise, but still, it's interesting from the endorsements, the amount of folks who, who did give uh, uh, Cahill some good words. Okay. Coming up next, we will stay with politics. Green Party candidate Howie Hawkins, he speaks with RFL about Wednesday night's debate and also the race for governor. Stay with us.